Warning, warning, if you are a Toriyama dick sucker, this video may offend you. Please leave now. So, Dragon Ball Super, why am I so critical of it? Because I'm going to tell you how I view Dragon Ball Super. Alright, so most people view Dragon Ball Super as they're comparing it to what they saw in Dragon Ball Z and GT. I don't do that shit. Yes, I based, well, I based how I review things and the consistency off of Dragon Ball Z and GT, well not GT, but Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and the manga and all that. I based it off of the canon material, that is true. But, when I am judging the quality of a, of a series, I judge it off of the competition. I judge it based on what else I could be watching at the moment, and honestly, I would probably get more enjoyment watching Batman vs. Superman than I would watching Dragon Ball Super. For multiple reasons. First of all, let's talk about how Dragon Ball Super has no organic storytelling. Now, the problem with this is that every arc has nothing to do with the other one. At all. Like, the Battle of God's arc. Beerus, the Battle of the God of Destruction Beerus shows up, right? The God of Destruction Beerus shows up. Threatened to destroy the Earth. Goku fights him, blah blah blah, you saw the arc and you know what happened. Frieza shows up six months later. Kim, on a completely unrelated note. Now, and then, Chapa and Vado show up. On a completely unrelated note. And then they're just hanging out one day and Future Trunk just arrived. So on a completely unrelated note. No tie-in to the previous arc. Now, Dragon Ball Z did this briefly. Mecha Frieza arriving on Earth and, and Trunk killing him. That tied in the Android arc and the Frieza arc. That tied in together. Organic storytelling. If you want an example from another series, I can give you one for Naruto. In Naruto, during the Kaze Kage rescue arc, the information stopped to regain Sakura with the cause of the next arc. An event in one arc caused the next arc to happen. That is what or organic storytelling is. Same thing in the Boo arc. Well, I think the Boo Arc has the same problem. The Boo Arc is just fucking random, but the Boo Arc has a time skip. The Boo, the Boo Arc has an excuse. It's been seven years, new time period, new character designs, it's different. It's okay. You can excuse it because it's a time skip, and it's like the beginning of the series, where the stress kind of just comes out of nowhere, and you can kind of understand it. But there is still no organic storytelling. I'm sorry, there's none. Okay, so the events of one arc don't lead into another one. Now, let's talk about the characters. I already did a whole video on why Dragon Ball Super needs more characters. I mean, more villains. But, this is the Goku and Vegeta show. If you're a TN fan, I feel sorry for you. If you're a Piccolo fan, I feel bad for you. If you're a Yamcha fan, if that even fucking exists. Let's be honest, Yamcha doesn't have fans. But if you're a Yamcha fan, I feel bad for you. Because guess what? Super is just going, fuck you, Yamcha. Fuck you, TN. Fuck you, Piccolo! Fuck everybody isn't Goku or Vegeta, because Goku and Vegeta are the only ones that matter. All Super does is, is have Goku and Vegeta fight. Universe this dark. One main character besides Goku and Vegeta mattered in our. That was fucking Piccolo. Piccolo got a fight. And he lost it. He lost his fight. Piccolo lost his one fight, and guess who beat every other opponent? Fucking Vegeta! Pick up the option to go back into the ring! And he was like, no? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Dragon Ball Super? I wanted to see Piccolo fight! I'm a, I like Piccolo, I want to see him fight! I don't give a fuck about Vegeta! I saw a chick freeze his ass in the movie and in the last arc! I don't need to see fucking Vegeta fight! I don't want to see Goku fight! I want to see somebody else fight! Goku the main character, I get it! I get that Goku needs to fight. I get it. That makes perfect sense. Goku needs to fight the main villain. But why can't somebody else fight the main villain? Why can't somebody else attempt to fight them? And if they lose, why can't there be somebody else for them to fight again? Other villains! Like Piccolo fight with 17. Gohan got to kill the main villain, no to tell, but Piccolo still got to fight 17. Piccolo still got a satisfying fight. It was still somewhat satisfying, even though he didn't kill him. I mean, it just, we wouldn't have the problem, like who could have killed Black if Vegeta could actually get a kill on somebody. And no, I had a comment and people telling me, a fight like his, Krillin fight with a Frieza soldier. That's not a fucking fight. No! 
No, I refuse to accept that from a goddamn fan base that bashed in Battle of God. But which is an amazing movie, by the way. An amazing movie. Multiple problems with it, but it's a really good movie. The biggest problem with a fan base is they're not enough fucking fighting. Get what? By the logic by the logic that that great the soldier fight counted, got me go on a fight in that movie and he attacked Beer. That's that kind of logic that pisses me off. No, make up your this fandom wants the one on one fight. Your people make exceptions to this that they want to stuck Toriyama dick. I'm not talking to anybody in general, but I've, had, I've seen a couple people say this. But it just, it's so offensive. It, it, it mind boggles me. Be like, is that a big Goku? That when Krill and Steel got pissed, people would be. If Goku, if Vegeta had got a man killed and Goku just fought some Freezer soldier, people would have been like, well, Goku didn't get a, even one episode dedicated to his fight. Neither did Krillin. Guess what? Krillin's more important than fucking Vegeta. I love Vegeta, but Krillin's more important. Krillin had been around longer. Krillin should be more important. Krillin is a main character. He was a main character years before Vegeta. He'd been a main character for over 10 goddamn years. Where is his big fight, huh? Alright, he didn't get one. The other characters don't matter in Toriyama's eye. Neither in Toei. It's not fucking good. It's bad usage of characters. Therefore, it's lower the quality of the theory. Let's talk about BR. Let's be honest. Super artist subpar. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to go on about it. It's Toei. The animation's not very good. And the artist is very good. I will be playing a clip. In this video, right now, from the latest, from one of the latest episodes of the Naruto Shippuden anime, that has better animation than anything that has been in Super. It is movie quality animation. Movie quality. And Dragon Ball bigger than Naruto. So can you explain that to me? How Naruto have better quality animation than Dragon Ball, when Dragon Ball have makes more money? Can you explain that to me? Of course you can. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Ah. Okay, let's move on to another thing I hate about Super, the goddamn Kai footage. Stop being fucking lazy. It, it's stupid. The Kai footage, it annoys me. This, this, this is my rant. This is me making a video just listing the things I hate about Super. The Kai footage is fucking stupid. It really fucking is, and it pisses me off because they could easily fix it. They, they show me they can fix it, by the way, when they switch back and forth. During flashback between Kai footage and new animated footage. It's actually unbelievable. I've never seen any studio do something like that. Ah! Also, uh, the pacing. Not very good. The Universe Death Dark was rushed. Let's be honest. The Universe Death Dark was rushed. It just. The reason this makes me so angry, and the reason I'm making it is because I love this. Series. I love Dragon Ball. I'm a huge fan. I've been a fan for like five or six years. Seven, maybe. And you know, I was so excited when I heard Super was being made. And now I, I leave almost every episode incredibly disappointed and upset with the theory. Because it's just not good. And I'm sorry, it did not live up to the standard. This is 2016. You know when Bulma died, I didn't care. I think I talked about this in my review, but when Bulma died, I did not care. And that's, I think I started laughing, because I was laughing at how they didn't have the balls to show them as they snap her neck, which, uh, which, which they probably would do in other theories. Other, other anime would probably do it. It's, it can be done, they chose not to. But I mean, it just, I started laughing when Bulma died, because I didn't feel any emotion. They kind of, they did it and brushed it off like it was nothing. It is an attack on Titan. I expect to feel something when a character dies. Let me give you a comparison, alright? We admit Bulma has been a member of this story, a main key part of this story, since episode 1 of the anime and chapter 1 of the manga. So she's been a, a key factor for a long time, right? Right? You know, uh, who here watches Naruto? You know Asuma, the guy that smoked a cigarette, the wind user? You know him? Yeah, him, Shikamaru, Ina, and Choju, and Choji Sensei. I didn't really, I barely cared about Optima. I cared about him in like, oh, Optima's cool. Optima's cool, like, like, just like any of the other Jonin were cool. Uh, but I didn't really care about him. Guess what? I almost, I, I got a little teary eyed when Optima died. 
And I barely gave a damn about the character because that was a good death. There was a flashback to remind me because I felt bad for the characters. I didn't give a damn about Austin. Well, I really didn't. But if I did care about better characters on screen. So, I'll tell you. Wanna know how you could have made me care about Trunk? You could have gotten rid of one of your fucking filler episodes. And you could have, which, which are not needed, by the way. The filler is not needed in no manga. Now, a lot of people don't seem to understand the point in fucking filler. But the filler wasn't needed. They could have put in a whole episode of Bulma and Future Tron hanging out. Future Bulma and Future Tron just spending a day together before Black arrived. The family, mother, and son day. Get us to really care about Tron. It will make us see how much he loves his mother. Show us, and then show us flashbacks. And then slowly kill Bulma off. Build up to that with flashbacks. Throughout the episode, and then kill her all, and feel like Trun stopping. It would have been you could have done, you could have made that so good, so god that could have been one of the best things in all of Dragon Ball. That could have been up there with the death of Future Gohan and Gohan Super Saiyan Two transformation, and some of the debatably, uh, debatably the best things in the series, the most emotional one. But no, 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 we we need to get to the fighting. We gotta kill Bulma so we can get, get to the Goku, the Trunks and Black fight, right? Because even though Trunks is fucking useless, but let's be honest, he's not getting the kill. Goku's gonna get it. I'm sorry, a lot of you are speculating. I'm like, dude, this is a fucking Jonin. This is a fucking Jonin theory. This is, fall, this is gonna fall the Jonin formula to the T. Hell, this theory made the Jonin formula. This theory. Pretty much created the shonen formula of the main character almost always winning. Now, if you look at other shonen, the way to get around it, and they, and I said this in my Dragon Ball Super, need more villain video. They introduce multiple villains, then the other characters take out those side villains, and then you slowly build up the hype to this leader of this group. And that other the lady group, where all these side villains, the big boss. And then after everybody defeated their individual opponent, the main character arrives to fight the big bad guy. The main character fights the big bad guy, everybody's happy. And no matter what character you're a fan of, you'll be happy. Because even though your character didn't kill the main villain, they still got a full fight. A full couple episodes long fight. Maybe like three, four, five, six episodes. Some cases it can be like ten episodes long. This, each character still got like a ten episode fight. That was really good. That would go really good fight, that would look really well animated, that looked good, and when they took out their opponent in a way that would bring you satisfaction. That's how you write a story. And when I watch Dragon Ball Super, I do nothing but think, that's how I watch Dragon Ball Super and you write things to myself. I'd rather watch Batman v Superman. I wonder how, I wonder, one time I was watching Dragon Ball Super, you were popping in my head while I was watching it. I hear the new Naruto filler is really good. Maybe I should stop watching this and go watch that. Because you know what? That sounds good. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I've am lost hope in this franchise. I really have. I mean, you know, and we're getting another Super Saiyan trend. Are you fucking kidding me? What? Super Saiyan Road? That's retarded. How predictable is that? And they spoiled it. They spoiled it. They ruined it. Honestly, Super Saiyan Road may have been really a really cool what the fuck? Moment, if they hadn't spoiled it. But no, they they spoiled it. I I cannot fathom what Toei is thinking with Dragon Ball Super. I can't. Alright, I can't. Dragon Ball Super is, in my opinion, the worst thing I've seen in all toy in, in the past since it started. Batman v Superman were better than this. Batman vs. Superman was better than some of the episodes I've seen in Super. I'm not gonna say it's better overall, but the movie, Batman vs. Superman, the movie that is critically acclaimed and one of the worst movies of all time, did better than this. Because at least I walked away and I was like, you know what? At least I got to see Batman and Superman beat the shit out of each other. It was, it did, it was a bad fight, it didn't make sense. But at least I got to see what, at least I got to go in and see what I wanted. I didn't know what was going to happen. Happen. That look what day Batman v Superman. I wasn't spoiled. So I got to go in and see this epic fight between two really good characters, and I was somewhat satisfied. Don't get me wrong, Batman v Superman is a terrible movie. But you know what? At this point, I'm like, 
At least I wasn't thinking during the movie. At least during the movie I can just turn my brain off and enjoy it. I'll sit down, I'll watch Dragon Ball Super, and I'll be like, can I go watch, like, no, can I go watch, I don't, can I go watch Attack on Titan? Can I go watch One Piece? Can I go watch Naruto? Can I go, go watch Attack on Titan? Can I go start watching that My Hero Academia anime? Which I still had not really, I'm still only like two or three episodes into, but I hear it really good. I mean, no! I should not be thinking about what other anime I should be watching while watching this. You should be engrossing me with how good it is. And when I can go back and watch Z now, I've already seen Z. And I can still go back and watch Dragon Ball Z. And read Dragon Ball Z. And watch Dragon Ball. And I can still be so invested in it that I don't invested in it that I don't spend the whole time wondering, huh, what should I what should I be watching right now? Because it's boring. Okay, and it's just oh by the way, the plot progression in the in the Goku Black Arc is terrible. Now, I'm not saying you need to agree with me, alright? But I'm just Dragon Ball Super in my opinion is shit. And I'm going to give it one more episode. I'll give it this I'll give it the Super Saiyan Rose episode. If Super Saiyan Rose does not satisfy me, Dragon Ball content is gone from this channel. It's done. And that thing somehow, we all you will be so mad if I am not satisfied. Maybe if they can make up for it, they can make this, no, not Super Saiyan Rose. If this arc has a good ending, and this arc satisfies me, if I walk away from this arc saying this arc was worth watching, not that it was the best arc in the series, not that it was good, then I, if I walk away saying I did not waste my time watching and reviewing and talking about this arc, if I go away thinking that, I will keep doing Dragon Ball content on this channel. If I go away unsatisfied, I'm done. This is super chance. This is super last chance to do good. I'm sorry. I do not like this series anymore. I'm giving it until the end of this arc to fix that. I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt one last time. If it doesn't fix it, goodbye Dragon Ball Super. I... I had high expectations for you. I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan, and I'm really disappointed that to say, if you don't improve, I'm dropping you, Dragon Ball Super. You will be the only the second theory, but you will be the second theory that I went week to week that was bad enough for me to drop. One of the other one was Fairy Tale. I had to drop it. I'm Jack right. I'm comparing Dragon Ball Super to Batman v Superman and Fairy Tale. But you know what? That's how bottom of battle this series is, if you ask me. In fact, there are fairy tale chapters I enjoy more than this. I actually read one of the written fairy tale chapters just for the fun of it. That was better than the most recent episode of Super, in my opinion. It was good. A lot of chapters fairy tale I read. It was like some shit with Gonzarina and like Zara. Funny. That's pretty good. Pretty cool. I had Logan at the fucking bar. I loved that. Much better than the most recent episode of Super. Oh my god. Oh, and that one punch man you have to rip blast. <laughs> How even the rush ending of Bleach is better than this, if you ask me. That's just the worst thing I've, I've seen all summer. This is really bad. Probably the worst thing I've seen all year, actually. But that's just my opinion. Literally, none of you can disagree with me all you want. Dragon Ball Super can be your favorite series of all time. I don't care. This is what I think. And as long as you're not going on in the comments and telling me I'm wrong for thinking this, I'm fine with it, but I have my channel, and I'm gonna make this video because I fucking want to. So yeah, what did you guys think of Dragon Ball Super so far? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed.